and if they are truthful in their words, they should wish for their death. Why are you afraid of your death then? <laughs> So it's Surah Baqarah verse number 94 and Allah says, Say, O Muhammad, peace be upon him, if the home of the hereafter with Allah is for you alone and not the other people, then wish for death if you should be truthful. And in the next verse, Allah says, But they will never wish for it ever because of what their hands have put forth on account of the sins which their hands have sent on before them. And Allah is knowing of the wrongdoers. Allah knows the mentality. Allah knows the wrongdoers. So a person whose deeds are not good is afraid of death. This is the formula of the Quran. Death is not good for a person unless his deeds are good. So the people of the previous religions who used to say that paradise is only theirs will never wish for death, Allah says, because of their actions. And so it is until the resurrection. Therefore, whoever says it, whether he is a Muslim or belongs to any other religion or any other sect of Muslim, if their actions, if their deeds are not good, no matter how much they say that paradise is theirs only, but the Quran says, no, it's not yours. This is a false belief. So Jannah is not exclusively for certain group of people. It is... For everyone whose deeds, whose actions are according to the Quran, according to what Allah says, what his prophet says. And if they are truthful in their words, they should wish for their death. Why are you afraid of your death then? But Allah says that they know, they already know that they have committed sins, what they have done in this world. So they will never wish for it. They know in their hearts that they are not good for Jannah. But still they say, to people that Jannah is for them and they expresses their superiority. Allah says this shows their mentality. And Allah knows the mentality of the wrongdoers. So Allah says they are the wrongdoers who have such kind of mentality. <laughs>